Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are back. This is going to be week two of the PGL in U Cup. And we are up against my boy Phantom Base. Now, this is the first time we've ever battled, but I've seen him around obviously pretty much everywhere. He has a really good team. He has a very fast team. I don't have anything on my team that can outspeed it, but I do have a little bit of competition. I have the Kingler with agility. I have the Vicaval with agility. I have a Choice Scarf Paragonal and a Choice Scarf Malamar. So I'm doing the darndest to try to even this a bit. My... Duck Trio is Focus Ash. Just in case I get trapped or in case I'm in a bad situation, I'm able to at least get one hit off. And hopefully I'm in sand where sand force is really going to be able to kick in and I can Oko, hopefully. I do have some, some strong hits in me. So hopefully we can do this dang thing. But on his side, obviously the Clots are scary. The Lycanroc can sucker punch me to death. I know if that Cryogono is in on that thing, it's going to be scary. Slurpuff is insanely scary. Just so, so many threats here. And then of course that Gothitelle. Oh my god, Gothitelle. That Trap Core with the Gothitelle and the Dutch Trio is going to be really really hard to deal with and then just in incredibly fast dodrio but i'm just going to get right into the battle now i did end up leading off with the vicavolt now honest to god i felt like if i got a decent enough matchup on that lead I was going to try to agility turn one. That was my honest thinking going into this match. And unfortunately, no totem pick of all this week. But I did feel like I had this matchup here. I felt like I could get off a decently free ag agility here. He goes for the U-turn, goes out into Sophie, which is a slur puff, right? I'm not quite, quite sure what he was um, going for in that moment. Um, because I cocked it out and Thunderbolt does quite a bit. And I do go for it on turn two. And it just does so much damage as he goes for the uh, combine I believe here but I, I cocked it out and I believe that this just confirmed that he didn't really have like barely any investment at all so what ends up happening is I just get to be able to take this out for free and I felt really bad about that paralysis but I did find out after the match that uh, this Slurpuff was actually Babiri Berry so it didn't end up mattering because I was never gonna be able to pop that anyway so it would have never gotten off his unburdened, and I would have been fine, in honesty. But, either way, he brings in his Lycanroc. Now, I was kind of hearing the Sucker Punch here, but I counted out. I thought that I would be able to take out a that I would be able to take a Sucker Punch. However, I did find out after the match that this thing was Scarf, so I was... I did have reason to be afraid of it. It could have gotten that Scarf uh, Stone Edge off, and I would have been done for. But... Ends up pulling a double into Megan, and it is Choice Scarfed. As it gets a Psychic off on me, we are able to take it, and we get the double down after Life Orb takes me out, and I'm able to take it out with a Bug Buzz. That was huge, because uh, Goth Style, I didn't, I didn't really have a plan for. I, just, I was just hoping that I would have enough um, firepower in the back to be able to take it out, and it looks like we were able to take out that Goth Style pretty... Uh, in pretty good shape pretty unscathed now here i go into the kingler and honest to god i go for that uh, agility once again here he goes for the dark balls and it just straight okos me now that confirms absolutely confirms that this thing is choice specs because there's no chance of that happening without specs so i know that this thing is specs I bring up my Gigalith because I know I'm going to get that plus one uh, special defense in sand. He goes for the Dark Pulse again. He's probably just testing out the waters, seeing what my investment's like. Does under half, and I have the leftovers. So, it's not going to end up mattering too, too much, except he flinches me as I go for the Stealth Rock. Now, I felt that uh, mid to late game Stealth Rocks were going to be huge here because of that Dodrio. I wanted to break any potential Sash on that um, Do Dodrio. No, Doug Trio, sorry and um realistically like and like anything moving forward on his team could have been sashed i wanted to be able to handle that and he switches out into the duck trio and even then i felt like I, I felt like i could take a hit um after checking out some counts and whatnot but he ends up going for the ground z now that was perfectly fine with me taking out that kick lift in, um as quickly as he did is fine with me because i do have a, a, a i believe one last turn of sand right and which ended up being huge because I do have one turn for my Duck Trio, or maybe two, possibly two turns for my own Unalolan Duck Trio to be able to take advantage of that Sand Force. Now, I I calped everything out, and I knew that obviously he'd be able to take me down to Sash, but my own Duck Trio would be able to Oko in return with a Sand Force boosted Iron Head. So that's what I go for. He brings me down to Sash. I'm totally fine. 
and I'm hoping that he's not sashed himself. I go for the iron head, and he's not sashed. Okay, out of the woods on that one. I was super, super scared about that. We did have answers in the back, but uh, I felt like I need to conserve my resources as much as possible, and my little duck trio wasn't going to be able to do a whole heck of a lot. And this uh, duck trio comes in on rocks, ends up take, taking a lot of damage, and um, ends up going for the quick attack. Now here, I am incredibly scared. I am incredibly scared of bandage quick attack. That's my first thought as soon as I see that quick attack. And my Malamar comes in, reveals Scarf, goes for the superpower. I get my plus one, plus one, which is huge because he never gets to hit me with quick attack before um, I get any hit, any boost. Um, goes for the drill pack, still does a bunch of damage. And then he just goes for the quick attack again as I'm able to go for the superpower and get to plus two plus two which again is absolutely huge um so i did have a little bit of fun there with um with those quick attack bind games um again i was so so scared of that bandit quick attack uh it never ended up happening but um now this clawitzer comes in and that stealth rock damage is huge it's absolutely huge because if that clawitzer has no defensive investments and i go for that straight a plus two superpower it does I, it does right around like 90 percent which is a guaranteed oko after that stealth rock damage so it's huge and it gets me another free plus one i believe i'm at plus three plus four now um and this thing can come in and he's able to freely sucker punch me if he wants to but i am able to get off that superpower and that's going to be the game with that malamar picking up the final three ko's in the match and that was an absolutely huge match i was really happy with how it went overall there's no doubt that the two of us could end up meeting in the playoffs and this was a huge huge starting point he definitely has a scary team and i did my best deal with it i think that i'm starting to get a feel for my team now uh, my team has a lot of fun things that it can do with all those agility mons, with all those potential scarfers, and his team is just really, really scary. I think we played darn near as well as we could have in this situation. It was a lot of fun to play, but with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Do check fan base out as well, and we'll be back with more PGL and U Cup really, really soon. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope once again, out.